Hello everyone, welcome and today I want to continue stack and queue and end this session with queue. Um, review the stack quickly also. So here is the stack I'm building using an append process, okay? So even though I start with the queue, how to create a queue, let me review how the uh, first you know, stack is created uh, one more time. So l both stack and queue are basically less, okay? The way how you add the item is what is going to give certain function like pop to do its regular duty but the way i add it is going to create as if it is queue or stack that is the position i'm going to take you know which is which you might not have heard of it so here is the you know it's the list i keep appending that so when i append append is always to, you know uh, after the first item next item after that next item after that and so on so one on top of another okay that is what is append is doing or one on the side of the on the right side of the other okay so that's how it is happening on the in the case of append so uh, when i do the first time append you know so let me run uh, i think i need to run that make sure that you know uh, uh, make sure this is this functionality is run so that i can get multiple outputs um, multiple outputs so okay so here it is okay interact interact uh, shell okay interact shell so now let's go let me go back there so i am now basically creating list 1 as uh, as this process okay q i have to go to the q to do that work q q q q okay so first time i am recreating list 1 okay which is through an append process okay so what happens first i run monday that means zero is going into the index zero is going to have value monday and then again i append to the right append always means to the right okay uh, or to the top whatever it is uh, so when so next time when i do list one append it is adding tuesday to tuesday representation representing tuesday two adds to the right of monday monday has zero so this one uh, will get index one so this one will get index two three four five six okay that is what append is doing so it is about the indexing here okay that's what is happening. Let me run that one. So if I ask for list, it is a you type one. I mean, it is a stack, but it is you know, it's a, the way I added it is you know what matters, and the way you know pop is working is what really defines you know the, how I add the item and how pop goes with that is what is called the stack and queue. Okay, it's not uh, they are two separate uh, two separate lists or even they are two different uh, data structures. It is the way we operate the append and inserts and then pop out the item that is what is defining the data structure uh, it modifies the behavior of the you know not modify specifies the behavior of a list in certain ways so if i pop out to know the list is already done it is you know the app uh, the stack in this case is done okay Beep. you know uh, it's done now and then i'm uh, call I'm, I'm checking it out it is a list and then i'm if i do the pop sunday will come okay really okay Look at that, Sunday came. But because I took it out, I had to put back if I want to keep my original list for further instruction. So that's what I did. I, I got back my original list, okay? I put back. I appended again. Now I want to do the list two. This is insert at zero. So here is the trick, right? So I insert at zero. First I run this one, right? This is the whole list of things, you know, one after another happens. This is the first one running, second one running, third one running. This is the last one running so i first i insert at zero monday when i do the insert at zero tuesday again monday gets the index one tuesday will have zero third time when i read this one uh, because i'm doing the insert at zero um, the uh, when i do the third one zero wednesday tuesday gets one monday gets two so in the same way i keep on doing that it is pushing to the right it is putting the uh, pushing the new value to the zero and pushing all the things to the right that's what is happening here okay in the list of the insertion is what is what insertion is doing now nonetheless nonetheless what is at the uh, top of this one because to the right of the rightmost element will be monday here isn't it rightmost element is monday here because it is getting the highest index by putting pushing this all the time at zero z insertion monday gets you know actually six okay index six what was getting here monday was getting index in index index zero sunday was getting in you know index six so when you pop here you will get sunday because the, it, uh, pop is always about the what is on top or what is on the rightmost element is that's all to it okay so where i'm going is that it's there's no magic here 
how you use the function append and insert is going to define whether it is a stack or a queue, period. End of the story. That's all my point is here, okay? So the rest of the things are all about notes is to try to prove, you know, what is the order here. See, look here, I printed them and, you know, Monday is, uh, um, this is list one, okay? List one has, you know, Monday as zero, Tuesday as one, Wednesday is three and Sunday is six. So when you pop here, always the right one, rightmost one is going to pop out, I said, right? So this is the last one that went in, but you know, when I use the apply pop, it looks like lost in first out, okay? But here for the list two, which is the insert at zero, you know, the last one I insert at zero is actually the Sunday. So I specifically said, you know, it, it should get inserted at zero. And I said that after the Saturday. So as Saturday gets one, I said that after Friday and so on. So Monday gets here seven because I push everything to the right and, you know, putting uh, all the time at the insertion at the zero uh, index. So this is really a tricky way of you know, saying, you know, one is the stack, the other one is a queue. Okay. Because if I, if I pop out here, it looks like, I am popping out the last one entered because the append process helped me to keep on appending to the right. Here, when I say, you know, pop here, Monday is coming out. It looks like first in comes out to be out as the, um, uh, this, was the this was the last in and first out. This is the first in, uh, uh, wait a minute. This is the first, first in, this is the first in and it is last out when I do the pop here and this is the last in and then last out. So, how you use append and insert is what defines stack and queue. This is a, probably a differently what you heard from others, but I want you to get this idea so that it relates to the indexing, the process of, you know, the powerful process of append, insert, and pop. Okay, that's all I wanted to tell you. Anything say I say beyond this is going to be confusing. We don't need that. Of course, you know, there is a collections available, module collection is available for you. You can use that and, you know, it will give you, you know, left out, left to pop, right to pop, all those things it will talk. But if you understand these foundations, you can understand those things very well. That's all I want to tell you. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I hope you saw something new here about uh, the, um, you know, stack and uh, uh, Q. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure you most likely would not have heard what I'm talking here, but it is good because it gives you a different perspective to you. Now you relate it to uh, the collections uh, where we have, you know, DQ process. That means basically, you know, you keep popping out, you know, that's called DQ process. Okay, um, so I hope you can con connect to the, the module collections very easily. Thank you. Have a great day. Tomorrow I see you again. Bye.